I'm a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude. Hello, collectors, and welcome to the Discount Action Figure Dude. I am your host, Christopher, and as you can see, we have a host of Iron Man uh, with us today. Why do we have a host of Iron Man with us? Obviously, we're going to take a look at an Iron Man. And today, that Iron Man is the ZD Toys Infinity Saga Iron Man 3 Mark 21 Midas Armor. And we know that this is a legitimate figure because we have the Spot Varnish Disney logo on the corner there. Bootleggers can't reproduce that side of the box with some nice artwork and some kind of barcode thingy. Side of the box. And the uh, back of the box featuring everything that we are going to get. But uh, let's say we cut this sucker open. Well, not really, because all we really have to do is this. And he's open already. <laughs> yes, and here goes uh, our Midas uh, colored Iron Man in his plastic coffin, ready, ready to be free. And if we take this away... And here go all of the things that our Iron Man comes with, which is fairly standard for a ZD Toys Iron Man, with the exception that everything is gold. And here goes our Midas Touch Iron Man out of the box, standing all on his own with all of his accessories, which of course includes a bunch of hands, a stand, some blast effects, and everything. Looking very good under the lights. I must admit, he's feeling a little flimsy, unlike most of these toys, but we'll take a look at that later, because right now we're going to take a closer look at the Mark 21 Iron Man. Just for clarification, as you can see, the box has the indication of lights in the eyes and the arc reactor. This figure does not have that, just to be clear, unlike this Comic K figure and this ZD Toys figure, which do have uh, light up functions. I kind of wish when ZD Toys made their figures without the light up functions, similar to the Space Boost, or Star Boost, I think it's called, is that maybe they should paint the arc reactor and the eyes white to give a simulated light look, but I think I know why they do it, because chances are at some point they're going to put a light-up feature in these figures and they don't want to retool anything. Okay, I guess we mad at them for being business conscious. Taking a closer look at this guy, the thing is... Even though he is gold, he doesn't look nearly as metallic as the other, uh, for instance, <laughs> this Mark III. Even the gold parts of the Mark III look more gold than this gold figure. Not to mention the rest of the uh, figure. And, and, and mind you, of course, if you're going to compare these two figures, it makes sense because they're both ZD Toys Iron Man, both costing about the same amount of money, uh, $25. But he does look good, we'll give him that. He just doesn't look nearly as metallic. Now, this particular figure also has, it feels like some quality problems. He has some really soft loose joints here even because I know this is this is a lift-up feature to help for uh, 
you know, turning and doing all that. That's not pretty, but regardless. But still, it's very loose. Which I'm not accustomed to for my ZD toys. I'm used to their figures being drum tight. But otherwise, you know, he can do all of the usual things that ZD Toys Iron Man can do. He has double jointed knees, double jointed arms. His heads can turn. Even considering these uh, shoulder pads that he has on him. Still got pretty good neck movement. Pretty good movement there. Of course it should be, but I don't know. Maybe it's just mine that's loose. You know, he can come out and do some splits. He also has drop down hips and articulated shoulder pads so you can get his arms up beyond 90 degrees, which is impressive. I don't know what this pose is exactly that he's doing. You have to ask, you have to ask Iron Man that, but <laughs> he can do it. He also has his uh, effects. And we'll just go ahead and put some on him real quick. Here goes Tony on his included stand, shooting out some repulsor rays. Tony Stark. Oh, shit. He's the coolest cat with a heart of steel. I just, he had repulsors on his feet, but I just dropped him and they fell out. Also, his right arm keeps kind of popping out, but I think that's more me moving him in weird and uncomfortable positions than Tony himself. And as you can see, it does look good with all of his, uh, he also has his, his forearm rocket accessory right there on both forearms. Iron Man and War Machine are really just murder machines. I mean, they, they come with so much, uh, weapons of mass destruction on them. But hey, man, you know, it's a rough world out there. And we need protection. Thanks, Tony. Thanks. And this is what I was talking about when I was mentioning making the eyes and the arc reactor white to simulate uh, light because they have these repulsor hands. And they too, th when they don't have fire effects in them, they're just pasted over in a lighter color to give the kind of the effect, I guess, of light. Like I said, I think I know why they do it. And that is if and when they do put in a light up feature on this figure or the star boost iron man they don't have to retool anything i'm sure if you take them apart you might be able to put a light in feature on them yourself in some kind of way so what kind of value do we assign to this zd toys iron man mark 21 midas armor well like most zd toys he is good looking but he's not as good looking as i've come to expect I would expect the Midas armor to literally be their most reflective, best looking armor. But it is literally the dullest armor of the ZD Toys figures uh, that I have. And that doesn't mean it looks bad. It's just, it's a, it's a little bit of a disappointment. As I said, the gold parts on the Iron Man Mark III, you know, look a little better than the pure gold that is the Midas armor Mark 21. Nonetheless... It is still a, a good looking figure. It has a few quality issues, again, which I am not accustomed to from my ZD toys. Which, you know, all together, considering the price that it was paid for, it, it's a decent value. We would say this ZD toys Mark 21 Iron Man, Midas Armor, is a decent value.